look at what happens here. Uh, when Harry wants to leave, he bumps Megan. And then Megan puts her arm out and says, okay, let's go. It's completely up to Megan. Next, Harry just walks away from uh, de Blasio, just walks away from him and is following Megan. And Megan puts her hands on him and pushes him ahead of her. Next, de Blasio is trying to engage Megan and Harry in conversation, but Harry is standing way outside and he keeps trying to leave and he keeps turning his back on de Blasio. And now he's talking to this woman. And so de Blasio is the king. He's the guy that you want to talk to. Okay, whatever you think of his politics. Harry's completely abdicated. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. You can find the book worldwide on Amazon in Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who buy me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. So what I just showed you was Harry and Meghan uh, meeting with de Blasio, one of the worst mayors in, in the world in the u.s the only mayor who's worse than that is the one in chicago there's like 60 shootings every weekend like 30 people dying uh every weekend in her city what's her name she looks like i don't know like yoda with bad hair um but it's just awful and i think uh you know all the wealthy people left but anyway the body language with harry is so bad. He's standing away. He's standing outside of the flow. He keeps turning his back on de Blasio, the king. He's letting Megan decide everything. He's he's not Harry anymore. It's I find the body language so interesting in that. And I hope you'll look watch it a couple of times and listen to the commentary and see what I'm seeing because Harry is just he's not there. He's completely checked out. And he's given it all to Megan. So let's talk about the woke awards. Are they trying to install a mirror monarchy in the United States? Because Meghan literally copies everything that the royals do. Okay, and Meghan bake, baking the carrot cake. Oh, Meghan baked the carrot cake. Apparently, Kate is somebody who likes to bake. Okay, so Meghan is pretending that she's somebody who likes to bake. So are they trying to install, like, point for point for point, a mirror monarchy in the United States. Yes. Uh, yes can mean yes. And no. Oh, boy. Because the queen was specifically worried about this. That's why she wouldn't let them uh, separate all while they were while they were royals. She wouldn't let Meghan and Harry separate all of their charities because she was concerned. They were concerned that Meghan and Harry, Meghan, was setting up a complete mirror of the monarchy, but separate and taking control of all of it. And this seems to be exactly what she's doing. So is. Are they setting up a mirror monarchy? Yes, official and their angels. 29, water into wine, transforming. What, they're transforming their situation. Yeah, it, Hightower, this is business. Yeah, and they just want, Megan most of all wants to be an angel. She's a perfect person who has never ever done anything wrong. And, you know, her, her farts smell like flowers for real. Uh, and I've, I've smelled them. No, I haven't. Uh, but she's just the perfect person. And yes, that's exactly what she's trying to do. Roses and angel. Oh, it's just, it's all virtue signaling and they're just perfect people and they're so charitable. Uh, and they're running that Clinton Foundation uh, called Archwell Coffin. But they have a lot of secrets. They're worried about these secrets getting out of the box. All business player Incubus, succubus, and no. Hmm. They're no incubus, succubus, player, earthquake, and four leaf clover. Earthquake, four leaf clover, clover. Everything they're doing is just falling on its face, and they're making play after play after play, trying to get something to stick. You've got Spotify and you've got Netflix. Very solid. Make some podcasts for real. Do a, a weekly podcast at least. 
and make some Netflix. Do it, okay? Talking doesn't make... Netflix happen. Talking doesn't create Spotify podcasts. You simply have to sit down and talk to people with a script in front of you and some some major points you want to hit. And you have, you hired a very high powered producer who is probably ready to slit her wrists because you've not made any, made any podcasts. Uh, even after hiring her, it's all just talk. No an incubus succubus and player. Uh, again, it, overwhelmingly, all the business ideas are just falling flat. They're just not making the bank. 20, 30, 40, 10 spades. It's a disaster. Their business is a disaster. 10 spades, 10 spades. And Jack of Diamonds is direct action, a play, and very visible. So player here can be either their public... Uh, the public's perception of them is horrible or uh, all of their business ideas are just a disaster. Okay, so they're, they're trying to set up a mirror monarchy. Absolutely. They are just literally copying everything the royals do and business is not good for them right now. So maybe charity will be good. And narcissists, they are copies. They lack a sense of who they are, so they're very e able to transform themselves very easily uh, and with great facility. And uh, and they, they always copy people. They copy the outward appearance because they just don't know who they are. Uh, so the Woke Awards, we have Woke Awards coming, or they're talking about making up a new awards show. And if you notice, there was an age where award show after award show after award show was being created in Hollywood, and they were very popular. Uh, there's all kinds of different awards, okay? And they became very popular, and they were being televised. Um, and that age is ending. This is really the worst time to make a new award show, because the top award show, the, I don't know what they are, the Emmys and the and the, the one with the statue, they are just dying. Their, their ratings are plummeting because these, these actors and actresses who are beautiful, okay, very fair countenance, they keep talking, they keep telling every normal person that they're terrible people because they're not having sex with a, uh, a transgender woman right now and they're bigots and all that stuff. And people are just tuning out. They're like, no, that's not true. You don't know me. You know, get behind me, Satan. And that's how people are feeling. So are these woke awards a copy of another copy of the monarchy or Hollywood? Who is she copying this time? Because it's a copy uh, you know, this has been done before. It's being done right now. So is it a copy of the monarchy or Hollywood? Monarchy. Yes. We keep getting that yes. Ooh, what does that mean? Or Hollywood. Oh, my goodness. Uh, just looking at these cards, you know, Monarchy and Hollywood, I'm not sure they're getting much support just on the face of it. They're just not getting support from either the Monarchy or Hollywood. Let's look at Hollywood. Devil, Woman, Star, Bethlehem. Let's see, 23, 30, 8 diamonds, money. So Hollywood looks at this as a money grab, a selfish money grab. It's just to make money by Megan. It's Megan trying to make money. What is the Royals? Uh, is this a copy of the Royals? Executioner cut off, broken away. The key is that they've broken away very decisively from the monarchy. 22, 24, six spades, and all they do is talk negative about the monarchy. Because the cards like to describe. They're always describing what do we have down here? Working together with other people, very emotionally, but it's incredibly difficult. 22, 25. They're having a lot of trouble getting this off the ground. It's uh, nothing. It's nothing but trouble. Very, very difficult. 
Angel and Three Blackbirds. Again, Megan wants to be perfect, the angel. She wants to be at the top and just be perceived as a perfect angel. Four diamonds, 14, four diamonds. And that's, that's the foundation of this is Megan wants to be the perfect little angel. So who are they copying? Hmm. Broken away from the monarchy in a bad relationship. And uh, Hollywood, they, they hate it. They hate it. Uh, Hollywood is just filled with these award shows and they're all failing. It's a terrible idea. It's a, it's a terrible idea for now. I don't think this is going to get off the ground. Let's, let's ask. Uh, will these woke awards, Meghan and Harry's woke awards, will they ever get televised? Will they get off the ground? Or is this just an idea that's going to die on the vine? Because they're not big Hollywood stars. So how can they... Uh, and if it's a charity awards kind of thing... Uh, you can award money, okay, for great ideas like William is doing, which is a straight copy of William and his, I forget what those awards are called, but, you know, he's, uh, you know, encouraging n new technologies and ideas, which is a good thing because, boy, I'm tired of hearing about these social issues. I mean, we need to, we need to go terraform Mars I don't know what these other idiots are talking about. So, and William, his work, he's, you know, he's rewarding people who are going to get us to Mars and get us out of this solar system, and that needs to be done. So, will will these woke awards ever get tele televised? Do they have legs? Does it have legs? Mother Earth Foundation Ruler Do these woke awards have any legs? Strength, Mother Earth, and Ruler. 2436. No. No. It looks like it. It looks like it. They're talking it up. Okay. It adds nine spades. No. They're talking it up. Okay. And by talking it up, they think that it will get legs under it if they talk it up enough. And they're trying to get support. But it doesn't have support yet. It looks, it's, it's, uh, it's like a Hollywood movie set. It looks very solid and it really looks good, but it's, it's maybe not. Okay. Player, very temporary, very, uh, passing. So all, all appearance, it depends on funding. It, it depends on official funding, whether or not it's going to happen. And they have to get the commitment of many other people hand in hand in mustard seed. So they don't have other people involved. You have to you have to partner with powerful people who can who can make this happen. Uh, and that's not happening yet. They're just talking. And finally, Meghan and Harry are in New York uh, for huckstering for vaccine equity. What does that mean? It means that over sixty percent of people in high income countries, okay, all the first world countries, all the countries established by England, okay, USA, uh, the UK, okay, and then Europe, those countries were not es established by uh, England, uh, with the exception of Western Europe, they were not, and Eastern Europe, they were not established by, but Eastern Europe is not as prosperous as, we prosperous as Western Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Tasmania, Canada, these are all countries established by England. So vaccine equity, only over 60% of high income countries have received at least one dose of the vaccine. And they're crying about it. Where's my violin? Are, let's see, aren't these other, aren't these other countries responsible for taking care of their people? Hashtag sovereignty. Yes, they are. Uh, Vaccine equity. I didn't even write a question on that. I just think that's silly. But uh, how will that go? How will their appearance at uh, live, what's it called? Global Citizens Live Concert. How will that go for them? 
How will that go for Harry and Meghan? Global Citizens Live. Just the name. How's it going to go for Harry and Meghan? Or rather, Meghan and Harry. Because Meghan is so dominant now. Harry's just completely abdicated. Uh, city. the New York City. The world. Uh, working together, working for the city, and working as a community. 9 and 8, 15, 17, 17, <laughs> I can't add. 9 and 8, 17, so 11 and 6, 17. Uh, yeah, five hearts. So it's kind of up in the air. These are their people, two hearts. These are the people that love Harry and Meghan. Okay, under 20, 18 to 24 year olds, they love Harry and Meghan. Because that's the woke crowd. Uh, strength and straight razor. Uh, complaining about the, the situation. And, you know, declaring unity. A close, heartfelt unity. And, and messaging and messaging. Electronic messaging and messaging. A message of love. Uh, but we're, you're bigots because... You're not sending vaccines to the whole world. Uh, yeah. So the crowd is going to love it. These are their people. They love it. So these are their people in New York City. Uh, they love it. So are they trying to install a mirror monarchy in the United States? Yes, they are trying to install a mirror of everything. And all of their business stuff is just as a disaster because they're not following through with anything. Now, are the woke awards a copy of the monarchy or Hollywood? These are very dark cards. I think, I think this is saying the monarchy and Hollywood hate this idea. Do the awards have legs? It's all just a paper tiger. It's a, it's a Hollywood movie set. There's nothing behind it, but just some wood, wood propping up the beautiful painted stage. Uh, and they're trying to get, they're, they're putting out news stories trying to make this happen. I don't think it's going to happen. And there are, they do have a base of support. This is a very good appearance for Megan. Uh, and I guess Harry realizes that. I, I don't know. I'm worried for Harry. Uh, his body language really concerns me in that what I just showed you. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author, playing card, divination, fortune telling, the Magi method. And uh, don't forget to like, share, su and subscribe.